Welcome to our video lecture of Laplace transforms. So today we will learn how to take Laplace transforms of a function when t is multiplied by any function. So we will use a general formula. So let's take a function say f of t is equal to t multiplied by sine a t. Now when we take Laplace transform of f of t it will be written as integral 0 to infinity t sine a t dot e to the power negative s t dt and to take the Laplace transform of a function when is multiplied by t the formula is like Laplace transform of t to the power n multiplied by function of t function of t is equals to negative 1 to the power n and the derivative d over d n over d s power n multiplied by f of s this f of s is the Laplace transform of this function which is multiplied by t so now we know that the Laplace transform of sine a t is equals to a upon s squared plus a squared so now the Laplace transform of t multiplied by sine a t will be equals to the derivative negative 1 to the power now the power of t is 1 here so 1 to the power 1 multiplied by first derivative because power is 1 multiplied by a over s squared plus a squared so now take the derivative minus 1 to the power 1 will be minus 1 and d over ds into a over s squared plus a squared now we will take the derivative of this function with respect to s so this will be s squared minus plus a squared into the derivative of a minus a multiplied by derivative of s squared plus a squared divided by s squared plus a squared whole square now it will be negative 1 multiplied by this will become 0 this will become 0 minus this a multiplied by derivative will be 2s divided by s squared plus a squared whole square so uh, something is missing here uh, I think so no nothing okay it's great so what we will get is uh, its power 1 here not squared so negative 1 multiplied by 2a s divided by s squared plus a squared whole square so the Laplace transform of t sine a t is equals to its negative sign so 2a s over s squared plus a squared whole square so this is the answer